Back in August, the Boston Globe gathered more than 300 of its like-minded editorial boards to scold President Trump uh, with uh, uh, his quote, uh, uh, about his quote, frequent attacks on the media. Uh, so uh, there will be surely a similar campaign, we believe, for this gross attack on the press. I'm wondering why you won't answer questions on the New Green Deal. Um, I won't answer questions on the Daily Caller, period. You're trash. Why do you think we're trash, sir? Don't keep harassing me. Well, in case you missed it, that was Senator Bob Menendez threatening to call the coppers on Daily Caller reporter Henry Rogers because he didn't like the questions being asked. That reporter, Henry Rogers, joins us live right now. Henry, have you heard from the senator's office or any reporters about this? Uh, well, it's funny, actually. His communications directors tweeted about this uh, shortly after it went viral, after this clip went viral, um, after he would not speak to my intern, uh, Paul Ingracia, and I, um, and threatened to call the police on us. So, um, actually, they, they tweeted out the article in support of, uh, of Senator Menendez's mm. comments. Yeah, you know, this is particularly troubling, though. I mean, he, he got particularly hostile when he found out that you weren't legacy media. That you were, it was, it was, you know, that was the reason why not. Uh, wh what do you think he has? A, he has a problem with obviously conservative media or the Daily Caller in particular. What do you think? Well, we broke a story uh, about him a couple of years ago, which led to an investigation, which basically found him guilty um, of hiring underage prostitutes. Um, so I understand why he doesn't, he might not uh, like us or the Daily Caller that much, but that's no reason for him to threaten to call the police on me for asking a fair question, a softball question, yeah. about the Green New Deal. Yeah, uh, Henry, uh, absolutely, I agree with you. I don't, he wasn't, I don't believe he was found guilty. I think that there was a, 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 a hung jury and they dropped charges ultimately. But bottom line is, he didn't like questions being asked, uh, and he's a lawmaker threatening to call the cops on a reporter. Certainly a little bit of hypocrisy there. Henry, thank you very much. I want to point out for all of you, in fact, the media hypocrisy in all of this. Uh, this is uh, the leftist media when they don't like something that Trump says. No president in the U.S. has done what he is doing, which is single out, uh, you know, political enemies, um, lump them in with the media. The president of the United States repeatedly calling the press the enemy of the people. President Trump says the media are responsible for the country's angry political climate, ignoring his own hostile rhetoric. He really hates the news. He hates us. All right, but when a member of the conservative media uh, gets attacked, well, that obviously doesn't uh, count as much of the same, certainly, as we saw in that last segment there with Henry. Joining me now is former Tennessee Congressman Zach Womp and Democratic strategist Scott Levinson. Uh, Scott, so um, why does the left only really defend the media uh, when, uh, of the, or the freedom of the press in general uh, when it's convenient for them? Do you well, see it that way? I would think you probably don't. I obviously don't, honey, but I think the real issue is we're creating parallels where they don't exist. The issue with the president is he's created a hostile work environment. It's a safety issue. We had a cameraman assaulted last week. He's removed press passes and kept people from the people's house, the White House. So the fact that on the president's side, we have a safety issue, not just a politician not wanting to answer questions. That happens every well, day in this country. We, certainly, but you can say no to answering a question without saying you're going to call the police on someone. You don't think that creates a security issue or, or sends a signal well, to Americans as, that, that reporters should be arrested if they dare to ask a question? As far as I know, the Capitol Police weren't called. He, they weren't but he threatened it. Themselves. But he threatened it. The halls of Congress are a public zone. And the press have a right to that public zone. The People's House keeping press from the White House, it's the People's House. But, well, you can, keeping press is not the same, a way is not the same as simply asking for a different reporter to represent uh, an entity. <laughs> and and, and I, I understand what you're saying, but I think that the, the president's powerful, uh, a, a senator's powerful. Uh, Zach, what are your, what, what are you, what's your take on this? So what, what's good for the goose is obviously not good for the gander. But on the big issue here, and the reason the president can get away with saying fake news, remember Walter Cronkite said that the media is actually the fourth branch of the federal government. Mm-hmm. That scares a lot of Americans. 
Who gave them that kind of power? Well, it's an important role, though. It <clears throat> it's is. An it important is, role. It is an important role. And when they've abdicated their, their job, it, it negatively affects our democracy. If the media and journalism is not done without fear or without favor and stays objective, they lose credibility. They've lost so much credibility that the president can say fake news and it resonates but with the American that, people. Zach, that is why I wanted to distinguish between the credibility of the news and the safety environment. Yellow journalism well. has existed for since the 1890s in this country. People have critiqued the credibility of the media. Yeah. But when you start to put the press in danger, when they start to have to be in fear of doing their job, well, that's when you have. But a this problem. becomes a difference also between the president issuing an opinion of his of the media mm -hmm. uh, that it is the enemy of the people or that it's fake. That's an opinion. It, I would argue also if the president came out and said a reporter should be arre Tammy, arrested for assault. asking him a question Tammy, he doesn't there like. There was an assault of a cameraman at a rally with the president last week. An assault. So if he's encouraging this type of aggression towards the news reporters, how could they possibly do I that think job? that I think it's a, a, a bit specious to suggest that what the president's saying, considering what the media says about Trump supporters, what the media says every single day, what Americans hear. I mean, the media is out there to be heard by all Americans to suggest that somebody mm -hmm. uh, who within an encounter and exchange with a uh, with a cameraman mm -hmm. that that's the president's fault that's one of the problems here is that not everything is president trump's fault uh, you know this is i think why people begin to have a question about the veracity of media <clears throat> and their attitude and what they're trying to promote tammy we have a trust problem the congress needs to restore their trust problem frankly senator menendez needs to restore his trust problem and the media needs to restore their trust problem, and then the country would actually have more trust, more faith. Well, and, and we're seeing it also affected in the ratings, right? You've, you've got uh, networks that are being beaten by ancient aliens because they're not trusted so much. Right. If people don't necessarily need to agree with everything they hear. They want to know why you're saying it, to get some background so that they can make up their own mind about the nature of what's occurring. And we can't conflate uh, having an opinion uh, with... with um, uh, are suggesting or threatening to have someone arrested. I mean, that is, and when you actually could do it in, in the Senate, you would agree that that was an inappropriate thing to say to, to, to that reporter. I mean, again, I don't know that the Capitol well, Police were even called in this case. But, Tammy. but it would be like you going in and threatening to kill someone. But it's like, I didn't kill just, him, even though I threatened Tammy, to kill him. You don't, don't get away with that. I just don't think it's analogous with yeah. the violence we saw. But, it, but in this yeah. country, we should be able to disagree without being enemies. Well, uh, we, we used to be able to do that. We'll get back to that at some point, I do believe. All right. Gentlemen, thank you very much for joining me.